two hours. <laughs> Crystal, make a, a bit of a departure. You're live on CB24, by oh, the way. Okay. Say hello to Toronto. Hi, Toronto. <laughs> You're uh, a bit of a departure, although you have a you know, good mix of comedy as well as more serious roles. Yeah. Is there one that you prefer over the other, or do you choose your roles very strategically now? Um, I mean, it really just starts with the script. I mean, if I read a comedy that I really like, then that's something that I'm interested in, and, and this particular script I just fell in love with, and um, I love Liza's work, and I saw The Return, and I was like, I definitely want to work with this person. Um, it just sort of, I don't know, there's a lot of elements that sort of come into play. It's, it's not like I think of what kind of movie I want to do, it's just sort of like, pretty much based on the script, and I'm directing it. How much prep did you do in terms of reading Alice Munro? Not a lot. <laughs> <laughs> not a lot. I, well, I just wanted to keep the script its own thing and not bring a lot of other things into it. Um, the character is very similar to the story, but um, yeah, I just wanted to focus on the script. So you were in Toronto last year for TIFF. Yes, uh, it was. Welcome back. Thank you. Anything that you did last year that you're going to do again this year, or anything that you're looking forward to doing? I never hear long enough. Yeah. It's usually we do the movie and then yeah, I leave tomorrow. So. But I've spent a lot of time in Toronto. So you won't have a lot of time to catch up with other SNL alumni like Mike Myers, Amy Fuller. <laughs> We're all putting on a show tonight. <laughs> We're right, going to meet up and crack right some here. jokes together. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, welcome back to Toronto. Thanks, and guys. Liza, can I ask you a quick question about working with Kristen Wake and how great was that experience? She's a total thrill. She's really just a beautiful performer. And she really knows how to create a character. And she's also very... Um, Lots of Dawson, thank you so much, and Kristen Wiig, pleasure to talk to you guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. A lot of fans. Thank you guys. Thank you. Hi. Last one was great. Very quick. Hi. Hi. Just very quickly. Oh, sorry, you might be a little closer. No, no, she's right in. So, Alice Monroe is a celebrated Canadian author, and so for our Canadian viewers, just tell us a little bit about your interaction with the writer herself and with the story. Um, the screenwriter brought me the script, actually, and uh, so I've never had any direct interaction with Alice Munro, but I love her work, and I think she's really possibly the most important writer alive, and uh, I, I feel in a way that it's uh, dangerous, actually, to try to adapt her work, because it's already perfect, you know, and so it's, it's kind of like, um, to me, it's inherently going to be different than her perfect story, but at the same time, I think that the way that the actors have brought those characters to life is itself a very beautiful thing, and I'm really proud of them, and I think it's its, its own thing that I hope honors the tone of the original. Okay, thank you, and Kristen... Just to second that. <laughs> <laughs> and acting awesome. in the role, what was that like? Uh, um, amazing. I mean, I hope that I uh, that she's happy with the performance of, and the way I portrayed her character, and... Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm really excited uh, to see it on the big screen with everybody, and um, I don't know. It's just an amazing experience. Chris, I just want to ask you really quickly if you've had a favorite movie soundtrack and why. Favorite movie soundtrack? Oh my gosh. Um, I can't think. I uh, oh, uh, Pretty in Pink's pretty good. <laughs> what, what, why? What is it about Pretty in Pink? Uh, it, it just I just, I have it and <laughs> I enjoy it. And you should get it. Thank you. Thank you.